Hey everybody, welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. Today is like a Christmas day for me. I got a big old box of parts here for the Farm All H behind me. Um, so we're gonna unbox these here together today and I'm gonna show you what I bought. Uh, so hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, and the thumbs up so you can be notified when we do some videos of installing these parts on this tractor. Now, before I get started here, taking this stuff out, I did open it, but I didn't take anything out yet, so we're gonna do that together. Um, some of the stuff that's in this box is not stuff that I need right this minute. Um, it's stuff that we'll probably need in the future, maybe the summer, next winter. But there's a couple of reasons I decided to go ahead and order the stuff now. Number one is it seems like prices just keep going up and up and up, and I figured it would just be cheaper to have the stuff here now and pay less for the other reason i i bought all the stuff is once you hit a certain dollar amount uh you get free shipping so i was getting close to that dollar amount i think it was like 300 or something i can't remember but i was getting close to that and i figured i just go ahead and get the things and then i save money on shipping as well so that was kind of another bonus for me so we're going to go ahead and unbox this stuff but before we do i want to show you something else that I ordered uh, from a different place. These are, it was a little, I don't know, kit collection of books, obviously not original, but we have an owner's manual. We have a book for the lift all system, uh, another book for the lift all system. There is a service manual for the tractor and a parts catalog for the tractor. And I have already utilized this in ordering a couple of the parts because I did order a couple things uh, that didn't come from Steiner's. Uh, they came from a uh, actual CNH dealer and it was super handy to just to have the factory part number, you could enter it and you were good to go. So these were about 50 bucks I think for the collection, but it's got uh, tons of knowledge in here, tons of information about this tractor um, that you need to know. So without further ado, Let's get started here. Don't need that. All right. Uh, first things here, I believe these are light bulbs. We don't need to open those. Here we have rubber grommets for the, their little bushings for the seat. Uh, what do we got here? Just some miscellaneous axle seals. Don't worry, there's better stuff. Stay with me. Uh, this is a little screen that you put uh, in the fuel tank so as the fuel goes down through the tank into the bowl underneath, uh, this helps to screen it. They call it a strainer. So I thought I'd try that. Uh, distributor cap. What else we got here? Uh, what's in this box? Some of the stuff just has part numbers on it and I don't actually know what's in the boxes. Unless I go back and look. Doesn't want to open here. There we go. Sort of. Sort of, kind of. Oh, there we go. I don't know how to open things, apparently. Okay. New sediment bowl assembly there. I figured the other one... There's a good chance that... Uh, I'm going to end up breaking it. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Ah, here we go. So we need this little guy here, and we need to not be dropping things all over the floor. So this, I almost need a table here. Put that back in there. This is our water temperature gauge. So that's awesome. So we'll be installing that. That'll be something that gets installed sooner rather than later. Don't need that. What else we got? I don't know what's in here. They really got it wrapped up. I wonder if there's more light bulbs or something in here. Yep, those are more light bulbs. I ordered light bulbs even though it seems funny. Uh, because the tractor is six volt and I'm leaving it six volt, there's six volt light bulbs. So I bought some just to have as spares. And uh, if you remember from a previous video, the rear work light was not working. And uh, I'm hoping it's just the bulb. 
so that's why I went ahead and bought some of those. Uh, let's see what else we have here. More packing stuff. Okay, we got plug wires. This was a little kit they had. Um, has spark plugs and some stuff. I, I forget what was in there. Rotor, I think, for the distributor, but some auto lights. Uh, just a tune-up kit they had put together. Uh, what else we got in here? Some more seals. Oh, those are for the uh, work lights. They have like a dust seal around them. This is, I think, the carb kit. Yes. So this is like a, a carb repair overhaul kit here. Hopefully I ordered the right one. Uh, what do we got that we can get out? Okay, so we got two new brake bands for the tractor. Moving right along. What else we got in here? We got boxes. We got to open some boxes. What in the world is in here? I told you it was like Christmas, didn't I? Ah, okay. So what this was, this is just some general cork material, a roll. So if I had like an oddball gasket or something that needed to be repaired, I can just kind of trace and cut out my own. I don't necessarily have to order a gasket. So I just bought that for general gaskets. Oh, here's my cow tail and receipt. You don't want to, you don't want to look at the receipt because I don't either. All right, what's in here? I have a suspicion about what this is. <clears throat> All right, this is our battery box cover. So I decided to get one of these because we're gonna be doing a lot of hay work with this tractor, you know, raking hay and things, hopefully tending some hay. And I don't want the battery box filling up with dust and hay and crap. So I decided to go ahead and buy the lid for it. All right, what else we got in here? Still going, we're not to the bottom yet. What is in here? I don't know. What do we got? Oh, okay, that's what it is. I should have known. So this is just a cheap, if I can get it out of here, just a cheap red toolbox for the tractor. There you go. It's nice to be able to keep a few tools in there. Um, I was kind of hoping it was going to be a little bit more water resistant. It looks like it's going to leak in on this hinge. Not that the tractor is going to be out in the water a lot, but um, anyway, so handy little toolbox. Looks like it's kind of the wrong color red, but we'll make do. Oh, here we go. I'm loving this. This is a cushion slash cover. It looks too big, but it said it was for 21 inch seats and that's what I've got. So this is going to be awesome. So I can't wait to install that. We are getting to the bottom of the box, I promise. Oh, I think I know what this is. Yep, so this is that shock absorber thing for the seat because ours is completely wore out. And when you sit on the seat, it just goes all the way down. And we are almost to the bottom, almost to the bottom. More packing material that won't come out. Uh-oh, hang on. There's something stuck to my packing material. What the heck is in here? Hang on. Get the old scissors here. See if we can get this bag opened up and see what the heck this is. Ah, okay. These are the brake springs for uh, like the brake return. To, when you let off the brake, it pulls the brake back. Uh, the ones that are on the tractor seem like they're weathered a bit 
and uh, I just thought I'd go ahead and get some new ones just to make sure that they're returning good. Aha! All right, here is a stainless steel muffler clamp because the tractor came with a muffler, but it is not clamped on there. So we need to clamp it on there. I just got stainless steel because I figured it would last longer. And at some point we'll probably put a new muffler on there. And I think the very last thing that's in this box is our PTO cover. Now this, believe it or not, reading in the manuals, this was an option on the tractors when they were new. Uh, I only got this because, you know, as a kid driving the tractor, I think that's it in here. Yeah. So as a kid driving the tractor, um, and I'm sure most people do, but entering and exiting the tractor, it's always from the back side, and it's just nice to have the PTO cover there in case the PTO is running or slowing down or something when you get off. It's just a little added protection. So uh, that's why I went ahead and got that. And it does look like that none of my reds are going to match. <laughs> this is a lighter color red. And these guys are darker color than that. So I'm not sure if this is more of an international red and that's more of a farm ollie color or what somebody painted the, the tractor i don't know but anyway there you go so that is the unboxing of all the stuff here for the h i did actually order a couple other things that didn't come yet i won't do a separate video for that because it's just going to be kind of boring uh, i got some oil filters coming and a couple other random little things um, that aren't super important but this was the the bulk of what i ordered so, like I said earlier, guys, stay tuned. We're going to start installing some of this stuff on the tractor. So you're not going to want to miss that. I'm going to share it with you as we go. I'm super excited to get to work on this and get it ready to go for the springtime and the summertime so we get to put it to work. So once again, I think I mentioned it several times, please hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, the thumbs up. And if there's any other little parts or things that you guys can think of on these older tractors that should be addressed, uh, leave it in the comment section for me down below. Um, as I said, either in this video or previous video, I can't remember now, I'm just too excited about this stuff. Um, you know, when I ran this tractor, you know, not this particular tractor, but it was an H. Uh, it was the first tractor I ever drove when I was a kid by myself. And, uh, you know, as a kid, you, you run the tractor, but you don't learn uh, every in and out of the tractor, every repair of the tractor. So my experience around the tractors, these older ones, is a little bit limited as, as far as the knowledge goes. Obviously, I can operate it just fine, but I've never worked on one specifically. So if you have any tips, tricks, things to look for um, for upcoming repairs and maintenance, please let me know in the comment section down below. I do value everybody's opinion. Thanks for watching. And I sure hope to see everybody on the next video.